Chapter 1 The Morning Routine Once upon a time in a cozy little house, there lived a girl named Emily. She was a kind and cheerful girl who had a routine she followed every day. As the sun peeked through her curtains, she would wake up and stretch her arms. Then, she would yawn and rub her eyes before getting out of bed. Emily's room was filled with colorful posters of her favorite animals, and her bed had a soft, fluffy blanket. She loved to start her day by opening her curtains to let the sunlight in. The sun's warm rays would gently touch her face, making her smile as she welcomed a new day. After stretching and yawning, Emily would slip into her comfy slippers, which were soft and warm on her feet. She had a special stuffed animal named Mr. Teddy, who sat on her bedside table, always ready for a good morning hug. Emily would give Mr. Teddy a gentle squeeze before leaving her room. Next, she would head to the bathroom, where she had a toothbrush with her favorite cartoon character on it. She would squeeze a little toothpaste onto the toothbrush and carefully brush her teeth, making sure to reach every corner of her mouth. She would then rinse her mouth with water and gaze at her reflection in the mirror, making funny faces just for fun. With her teeth sparkling clean, Emily would wash her face with a gentle, fruity-scented soap. The water felt refreshing on her skin, and she would pat her face dry with a soft towel. After her morning routine in the bathroom, she felt awake and ready to take on the day. Once dressed in her favorite pink dress, Emily would take a moment to pick out a colorful hair ribbon. She had a collection of ribbons in all sorts of bright colors, and she liked to choose one that matched her outfit. Tying it neatly into her hair made her feel even more cheerful. Finally, Emily would tiptoe downstairs, careful not to wake her sleeping cat, Whiskers, who loved to curl up on the living room couch at night. In the kitchen, she would find her breakfast waiting for her, just as her mom always prepared it, a bowl of cereal with milk and a glass of fresh orange juice. The kitchen smelled of freshly brewed coffee, which Emily thought was a grown-up smell she would someday come to love. She would pour the cereal into a bowl, add the milk with a steady hand, and then carefully place a spoon into the bowl. She loved how the cereal made a satisfying crunch sound as she took her first bite. Yummy, she would say with a smile, savoring the delicious taste of her morning meal. With breakfast finished, Emily was now fully awake and ready to face the adventures of a brand new day. Chapter 2 Breakfast Time after finishing her morning routine, Emily's favorite part of the day was breakfast time. It was a time when she could sit down and enjoy a delicious meal that her mom always prepared with love. As she descended the stairs in her cozy pink dress, her anticipation grew, knowing that her breakfast was waiting for her. The kitchen was filled with the enticing aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the sweet scent of cereal. Emily's cat, Whiskers, had now woken up from his nap on the living room couch and joined her in the kitchen, hoping for a treat. Emily's mom, a loving and cheerful woman, would be standing at the stove, flipping pancakes on a sizzling griddle. The pancakes were golden brown and fluffy, and they filled the air with the mouth-watering smell of warm batter. Beside the pancakes, a plate of crispy bacon sizzled, releasing a savory scent that made Emily's stomach rumble with hunger. Emily's dad would be setting the table, placing plates, forks, and knives in their proper places. 
He would light a few candles in the center of the table, creating a cozy and warm atmosphere for the family to enjoy their breakfast together. As Emily took her seat at the table, her mom would place a stack of pancakes on her plate. She would drizzle maple syrup over them, and the syrup would slowly cascade down the sides, making the pancakes glisten in the soft morning light. A small pat of butter would melt on top, adding a rich and creamy flavor to the meal. Beside her pancakes, Emily would find a plate of crispy bacon strips, each one perfectly cooked to a golden brown hue. The bacon crackled as she reached for a piece, and the salty, savory taste danced on her taste buds. To complete her breakfast, Emily's dad would pour a glass of fresh orange juice for her. The juice was cold and refreshing, and she loved how it was tangy and sweet at the same time. The vibrant orange color of the juice made her smile, and she would take a sip, relishing the burst of citrus flavor. As Emily savored her breakfast, her parents would sit down at the table with their own plates of pancakes and bacon. They would chat about their plans for the day, share stories, and enjoy the simple pleasure of being together as a family. Breakfast time was not just about delicious food, it was also a time for laughter, love, and connection. And as Emily and her family shared this meal together, they cherished the special moments that made their mornings brighter and their bonds stronger. Chapter 3 School Days after a hearty breakfast and warm family time, Emily would gather her belongings and prepare for another exciting part of her day, school. Her school was located just a short walk away from her cozy home, and she looked forward to it every morning. With her backpack securely fastened, Emily would step out of the front door, greeted by the gentle morning breeze and the cheerful chirping of birds in the neighborhood. The sun's warm rays would shine down on her, creating a pleasant contrast to the cool breeze. As she made her way to school, Emily would often meet up with her friends along the path. They would exchange greetings, chat about their favorite activities, and sometimes even share a joke or two. Their laughter filled the air, making the walk to school feel like an adventure. Once they arrived at school, Emily and her friends would enter the bustling hallways. The school was a vibrant place with colorful posters, lockers lining the walls, and the echoing sound of students chatting and moving about. Emily loved the feeling of being part of a big, friendly community. In her classroom, she would take her seat, excited to start the day's lessons. The teacher, Mrs. Johnson, was a kind and patient woman who always had a warm smile for her students. She made learning fun by using colorful charts and interactive activities. Emily and her classmates would dive into various subjects like math, science, and history. Math was like solving puzzles, and Emily enjoyed it when she could correctly answer problems on the chalkboard. Science allowed her to explore the wonders of the natural world, and history stories transported her to different times and places. During recess, Emily would join her friends on the playground. They would play games like tag, hide-and-seek, and hopscotch. The playground was a lively place, with swings swaying back and forth, children climbing on the jungle gym, and the sound of laughter echoing in the air. Lunchtime was another favorite part of the school day. Emily's mom packed her a delicious lunch, filled with sandwiches, fruit, and a small treat. She would sit with her friends at the lunch table, sharing stories and trading snacks. 
Emily loved her mom's homemade cookies, and she would often share them with her friends, making everyone smile. In the afternoon, Emily's classes continued, and she would eagerly participate in group projects and creative assignments. Her school day was filled with opportunities to learn and grow, and she enjoyed every moment of it. As the final bell rang, Emily and her friends would gather their belongings and head home, discussing plans for playdates and adventures in the neighborhood. School was not just a place of learning, it was a place where friendships were nurtured and memories were made. And so, each school day brought new knowledge, new experiences, and new friendships, making Emily's life all the more exciting and fulfilling. Chapter 4 Family Dinner After a busy day at school, Emily would return home where another cherished daily ritual awaited her, family dinner. The scent of a delicious meal would greet her as she stepped inside the cozy house, making her feel instantly at ease. In the kitchen, Emily's mom would be busy preparing a scrumptious dinner for the family. The kitchen was warm and inviting, with the aroma of cooking filling the air. Pots and pans would sizzle on the stove, and the clinking of utensils against plates added to the comforting sounds of home. Emily's dad would set the dining table, carefully arranging the plates, forks, knives, and napkins. He would light a few candles in the center, casting a soft, warm glow over the table, creating an atmosphere of togetherness. Dinner in Emily's household was always a special time for the family to reconnect after a day apart. They would gather around the table, and Emily's mom would bring out the masterpiece she had been cooking. It could be spaghetti with rich tomato sauce and meatballs, or perhaps a flavorful chicken stir-fry with colorful vegetables. As they sat down, Emily's little brother, Tommy, would sometimes share funny stories from his day at school. His enthusiastic storytelling would make everyone at the table laugh, and his infectious giggles were a source of joy. Emily's mom would serve generous portions of the delicious meal onto each plate, ensuring that everyone had their favorite parts. She would offer a side salad with crisp, fresh greens and a variety of toppings, adding a healthy touch to the meal. Conversation flowed easily during dinner. Emily and her parents would share stories about their day, talk about plans for the evening, and discuss exciting events coming up. They would also take turns asking each other about their favorite parts of the day, which led to interesting discussions and a deeper understanding of one another. Emily's dad would sometimes tell jokes or riddles, and they would all try to guess the answers. These moments created a fun and light-hearted atmosphere, strengthening the family's bond. After enjoying the meal together, Emily's family would help clear the table and do the dishes as a team. This sense of cooperation and shared responsibility was an important part of their family values. With dinner concluded, Emily would often spend some quality time with her parents, whether it was playing board games, reading books, or working on a craft project together. These evening activities further solidified the strong connections they had as a family. Family dinner was not just about nourishing their bodies, it was about nourishing their souls with love, laughter, and shared experiences. As Emily drifted off to sleep at night, she would carry the warmth of those moments with her, looking forward to another day filled with love and togetherness. Chapter 5 Evening Activities After the delightful family dinner, Emily's evening was a time for her to engage in her favorite activities, unwind, and further enrich her day. 
The cozy ambience of her home, with soft lighting and the comforting presence of her family, set the stage for these enjoyable pastimes. One of Emily's greatest passions was art. She would often retreat to her room, where she had a special corner dedicated to her artistic pursuits. There, she would spread out a large piece of paper on her desk and lay out her colorful crayons and markers. She loved to draw pictures of the things she saw during the day, from the beautiful flowers in the garden to the playful antics of her cat, Whiskers. Her artistry allowed her to express herself and capture her world in vibrant colors. Another evening activity that Emily enjoyed was building with her favorite building blocks. The blocks were brightly colored, and she had an endless imagination to create castles, houses, and even intricate mazes. She would build tall towers that seemed to touch the ceiling or create elaborate structures that became the backdrop for her imaginative play. Sometimes, Emily's creativity led her to construct her own little world filled with miniature figures and tiny toy animals. She would invent stories and adventures for these characters, transporting herself to far-off lands and exciting journeys. Emily also had a tablet with educational videos that her parents had carefully selected for her. She enjoyed watching these videos, which taught her about different animals, countries, and fascinating facts about the world. Her favorite video was one that showcased the playful and intelligent dolphins, and she was captivated by their underwater acrobatics and cheerful clicks and whistles. In addition to her artistic and educational pursuits, Emily would sometimes engage in physical activities to stay active and healthy. She would practice her dance moves or do some simple exercises in her room. Her parents encouraged her to stay active, and they often joined her in playful activities like hide-and-seek or a friendly game of catch in the backyard. As the evening progressed, Emily's parents would spend quality time with her. They might read a book together, with Emily eagerly listening to the tales of brave heroes and magical adventures. Her parents would use funny voices and dramatic expressions to bring the stories to life, making it a memorable and enjoyable experience. Emily's evening activities weren't just about entertainment, there were also opportunities for her to learn, grow, and connect with her family. These moments of exploration and creativity fueled her curiosity and added depth to her daily life. As the night fell and bedtime approached, Emily would tuck away the art supplies, building blocks, and tablet, feeling satisfied with the adventures she had experienced throughout the evening. She would drift off to sleep, her dreams filled with the wonders of the world she had explored during the day and the anticipation of new adventures to come. Chapter 6 Bedtime Stories As the evening activities came to a close, and the cozy night enveloped Emily's room, one cherished tradition remained e-bedtime stories. Emily's parents would tuck her into her soft and inviting bed, with Mr. Teddy, her loyal stuffed animal, always close by. The room was dimly lit, creating a serene atmosphere that signaled the approaching night's rest. Emily's parents would sit on the edge of her bed, one on each side, ready to share a magical story with their beloved daughter. Emily had a collection of books on her shelf, filled with tales of adventure, fantasy, and wonder. Some were classic fairy tales, while others were stories of brave knights, curious explorers, and talking animals. She would pick a book from the shelf, and her parents would eagerly oblige, 
knowing that bedtime stories were their special time together. As the story began, Emily would snuggle under her soft blankets, her eyes wide with anticipation. Her parents would use animated voices and expressive gestures to bring the characters to life, making each story come alive in her imagination. The tales transported Emily to far-off lands, where she could join brave heroes on epic quests, solve mysteries with clever detectives, or visit enchanting realms filled with magical creatures. She felt like she was right there alongside the characters, experiencing their triumphs and challenges. Sometimes, the stories would teach Emily valuable lessons about kindness, bravery, and the importance of friendship. Her parents would pause to discuss the moral of the story, ensuring that Emily not only enjoyed the tale but also learned from it. These bedtime stories were not just about entertainment, they were a time for bonding and connection between Emily and her parents. It was a moment to share laughter, imagination, and the warmth of their love. After the story concluded, Emily's parents would tuck her in snugly, ensuring she was warm and comfortable. They would softly sing a lullaby, their gentle voices lulling her into a peaceful slumber. The room would be filled with the soothing melody, and Emily would feel safe and loved. As the last notes of the lullaby faded away, Emily would close her eyes, her mind filled with the enchanting stories she had just heard. With dreams of adventure and magic in her heart, she would drift off into a tranquil sleep, eagerly awaiting the next day's adventures and the promise of more wonderful stories with her parents. Chapter 7 Sweet Dreams After the soothing bedtime stories and the comforting lullaby, Emily would slowly drift into the world of sweet dreams. In her cozy little room, surrounded by familiar sights and the soft glow of her nightlight, she found solace in the world of dreams. As Emily lay in her soft bed, her mind filled with the enchanting tales she had just heard, she would let her imagination run wild. In her dreams, she could be anything she wanted. She often dreamt of becoming an astronaut, floating among the stars, exploring distant planets, and discovering new galaxies. These dreams of outer space made her feel like she was on a thrilling adventure beyond Earth's bounds. Other times, Emily's dreams would take her to far-off lands, where she would embark on magical quests, meet talking animals, and solve mysteries. She might find herself in a lush forest, helping friendly woodland creatures or in a fairy tale kingdom attending a grand ball as a princess. One of her favorite recurring dreams was the one where she became a brave knight, defending a mystical realm from dragons and wicked sorcerers. In these dreams, she wielded a shining sword and wore a suit of armor, standing valiantly against the forces of darkness. Sometimes, her dreams would be filled with the playful antics of her cat, Whiskers. In these dreams, Whiskers could talk and take her on whimsical adventures through the house, leading her to hidden treasure chests and secret passages. Emily's dreams were a tapestry of colorful and imaginative scenes, each one a new adventure waiting to unfold. Her subconscious mind weaved together the experiences and stories she had encountered during the day, creating a world where anything was possible. And so, in her cozy little room, surrounded by the warmth of her bed and the love of her family, Emily would venture into the realm of dreams. These dreams were a source of wonder and joy offering her a glimpse into the limitless possibilities of her imagination. As the night grew deeper, 
Emily's dreams would carry her into the peaceful realm of slumber, where she was free to explore, imagine, and create. With each dream, she looked forward to the adventures that awaited her, making her sleep a journey filled with sweet dreams and endless wonder.